guys, I just published my avatar inspired video to YouTube. It's filmed in the Faroe Islands and a lot of work went into it. So if you haven't seen it yet, definitely check out the link in the description down below, guys. Now, one of the things that stands out from the video is the color grading. And I want to share with you five tips so that your color gradings won't suck anymore. So let's launch Premiere Pro for some advanced tricks that you've probably never heard about before. Starting off, what we want to do is make the most important element of the video pop. So drag your shot into the timeline and go over to the window menu and open up Lumetri Color. Now we want the talent to draw attention, but the foreground is pretty bright, so that might distract. So let's make the shot a little bit darker with the exposure control. I also like to add some contrast back into it so it doesn't become so flat. Now this adjustment should only appear on that bright foreground. So if you go over to the effects controls within Lumetri, click on the pen tool. This allows you to draw a mask around that bright foreground. You can do this roughly because once you are done with that, we're going to feather it a lot. And now if you want, you can further tweak it by decreasing the saturation or perhaps even adding a little bit of blue within the temperature slider. Blue is linked to shadows, the night, cold, and distance. So that helps it to put those objects more in the background. So I have these beautiful shots that I made at the Faroe Islands, which of course have a color grade. I graded everything with Film Convert, which we'll get into into a moment, but it's been applied to an adjustment layer for the entire edit. What I then do is correct every shot in the Individually, but the base grading is already there from that adjustment layer. Now, since these shots are all in lock, a very flat picture profile, it means that the color grade will not work on shots that don't have that same picture profile, such as these drone shots. To make that work, we need to match the drone shots with the red lock. So go over to the color wheels and click on comparison view. Now you can see the drone shot on the right and scrub through the timeline to find the lock clip to match the drone shot with. From the menu on top, open up to the metric scopes and make sure that the waveform scope is visible and set the waveform type to luma. Here you can see the luminance of the left and the right video. On the bottom of this graph you can find the absolute blacks and on top the whites. In between you can read the highlights and the shadows. Now with the basic controls in Lumetri you can match the gamma of the two videos. I like to start by just decreasing the contrast. That will bring back the blacks and the whites closer together which will make it look flat. Then adjust the highlights, shadows, whites and blacks until it's approximately the same as the left scope. Now do take this with a grain of salt because we're not comparing two of the exact same shots together. And now it's time to match the color of the video. So right click in the curves window and open up the vector scope. Here you can see all the colors and this little highlight tells you which colors of your videos lean to. The further the spike, the more saturated these colors are. So play around with the saturation until both spikes are approximately the same. Now this method works, it's quick and dirty, but there's another way to do this which is much more accurate and faster. Film Convert, the sponsor of today's video and also one of the partners of this whole project, allows me to do that in no time. They have two amazing plugins. Film Convert Nitrate to convert to digital video into film. I basically use this for the color grading and Cine Match. After you install these, you can find Cine Match back within the effects library and just drop it onto your clip. In the effects controls, select your camera. This is going to be the source and then set the camera that you want to match your video to. So for me, that's going to be Red Lock. And as you can see, the drone shot is now perfectly matched to the other video. And that is because they're being matched on sensor level because of the camera profiles. Now this plugin also has color grade functions giving you raw light control over your footage. You can apply the Rec. 709 transform to it. From there you have the ability to change the exposure and white balance settings. And deeper control to match the colors. You know, for instance, let's say that you want to match the grass of one shot with the other. Then all you need to do is take the source color picker and click on the grass that you want to match. Then take the target picker and select the grass in the other video and voila. Then of course you can also use the standard controls like within Lumetri. So this plugin provides you with a complete color correction tool set. And then their second plugin called Film Convert Nitrate. Just like before this one also worked on sensor level. You can select the camera that you are using. You can then choose a film emulation from this menu and adjust the chroma and luma if needed. Here you can choose the film size and with this curve you can completely customize the grain in your video. It creates a beautiful organic film grain. Then with the color correction tools, you can again further correct or grade and get the exact look that you want. You can even design your own film stock from scratch and save that as a LUT. And because Nitrate uses a full lock image processing pipeline, you can retain the full dynamic range of your footage throughout the grading process. I absolutely love their tools. Now you can give it a spin for yourself for free and if you do decide to purchase it, then don't forget to use the coupon CINECOM at checkout to get an exclusive 10% discount on both CINEMATCH and FILMCONVERT. Links can be found in the description below.
All right, back to the color grading tips. Let's head over to the curves tab and expand them. Now let's take a look at the U versus saturation curve. What in the world is even that? Well, with this curve, you can make a color selection in your video. You can do it manually, or you can take the color picker and click on the sky of your video. Now by dragging the middle point up or down, you can increase or decrease the saturation of that selected color. We can now control the amount of saturation in the sky in your video. Now let's scroll down a little bit more and have a look at the U versus loop curve. So this time we select a U or color and change its luma. We're gonna make this sky look deeper and basically more vibrant. To do that, select the blue sky again and then decrease the luma or brightness. And as you can see, this will create more depth in your sky. Now the skin tones are a little bit flat and there isn't much life to it. Well, with this curve, we can make the skin tones look more deeper and warmer as well. So select the skin tones with the color picker and then just decrease the luma. And don't overdo this guys, keep it subtle, but this looks amazing. By the way, if you know some awesome curve tricks yourself, let us know in the comments down below. The next curve is called Luma versus Saturation. But Jordy, ah, so many curves. It's okay, this one is easy. With this curve, you can control the saturation at a certain Luma level in your video. For example, if you drag down the entire curve, it will remove all the colors in the video. But we don't want that. As you can see, there's a little green tint inside the black spots. The blacks of the videos are located on the left. So if we turn them down, the green tint will disappear and the other colors will remain. And with all of these tricks in mind, definitely check out my Faroe Islands video and how the final color grading looks like by clicking the card here on my left. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Film Convert, for your support. And as always, stay creative.